Just look at this. Look at this. This, this is the hubris of a man, my friends. Lots of french fries. French fries just on the ground everywhere. I cannot believe that people are so disgusting and rude. I create a paradise for Gorilla and what do they do? What do they do? They go ahead and they go over to the Shell Shack, which arguably has actually been doing very well and is quite popular, and they just trash the place. I cannot believe how much they have just completely messed this whole zone up. I need to see like if I have enough bins to cover this area. This is is just ridiculous. You think you could give somebody something nice and they would go ahead and try to like, look, there's bins actually covering this radius. This is just, I am severely disappointed in everybody who has uh, been involved in this travesty. However, we are going to make the most of it. So welcome back to our sprawling zoo city, my friends, where we are back in Let's Build a Zoo and we are actually carrying on with a few of our current projects, which according to my adventure notes list right in front of me, written in my very own joy journal, includes trying to get five variants of peafowl by unlocking a whole bunch of different peafowl types. Oh, and I actually paused the breeding on those pandas. Let me go ahead and see. Can I get a new variant of panda? Where are my, Oh, there are my pandas. All right. Oh, I can get a new variant of panda. Ooh. Okay. So let's actually try breeding these ones and we'll see if we can get a new variant of the pandas. And then we are still working on trying to get the new variant of some of these. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're having any luck with the peafowl, but we're getting closer and closer to unlocking five precious peafowl, which means we will be able to open up a brand new CRISPR research center and get some amazing spliced animals that will have peafowl tails and who knows what else mixed in with them. That's going to be pretty cool. All right, let me go ahead and I'm going to get two more pairs trying to breed these peafowl. Uh, and we'll just see if we have any luck with those guys. And then I'm going to move Kramer over here, who's actually pregnant, uh, over to this area, just because. All right, there we go. All right, so that's our peafowl, which are actually one. Oh, man. Oh, the orangutans have a block. Oh, it's this giant tree. Dang it. All right, let's move the tree. There we go. But we do have orangutans now, my friends. So orangutans and taking care of our gorilla are actually on my list of things to do today, as well as check in on the antelopes because we are trying to breed up the third variant of antelope in order to go ahead and trade for some crocodiles, which I actually think would be so much fun. I think it'd be fun to add the crocodiles maybe like right over here. So they were sort of running in a river along the savanna area. Oh, and look at our little babu elephant, aren't you? the cutest thing and there's a little babu hippo over there too all right those guys are really cute let me see all right so let's see we need to clean this area up I should start picking some things we need to work on nutrition for our gorillas and our orangutans uh, and then let's check the crisper because we should have some clones of these antelope that we have been trying to go ahead and get going because we're still, we still don't even have the second variant of antelope and you think we would have managed that by now. So I'm gonna come down to this nursery and we're gonna see, so there's two pairs of antelope at the moment. Oh my gosh, and okay, so one's already pregnant. Can I confirm a new pair? Ah, uh, okay. So we have to wait until this animal is done. Johnny here, eight days pregnant. Oh, that's gonna take forever. <laughs> but we're gonna have to go ahead and wait for Johnny the antelope to be done giving birth. Uh, do we have another female antelope ready to go ahead and emerge from the CRISPR? We will have to find out. While we wait for potentially a female antelope to come out of the CRISPR, let's come over to park staff and we are gonna recruit ourselves a brand new janitor. Oh, this is a really great janitor, level 27 with high work ethic and energy, wonderful. And we're gonna assign Gladys here to take care of the entire section for our gorillas. So hopefully, she can clean up this terrible, terrible mess that I hope everybody is deeply ashamed about having made. You can see everybody coming over to buy from our cola. I'm gonna add like 6% caffeine to our cola and we're gonna, we're gonna just make it less bad. And then I'm gonna up the price. Well, I don't really need to up the price. 
I'm gonna make it a little cheaper because we're gonna pretend this cola is actually juice because I feel super bad that people have to drink cola. I would never recommend that in real life. It's actually probably been, let's see, I actually stopped drinking soda before I met chips. So it's been about 12 years since I've had any soda and I am so glad for that. All right, let's actually remove these stone paths and I'm gonna put in the ashwood planking right there. All right, I'll replace the stone path right there. And we'll kind of see where we're going with these decorations. I'm not exactly sure what we're up to, but we're going somewhere with them. All right, so the shell shack is clearly extremely popular and it makes people super thirsty. So I think we could actually get away with having a actual shop for somewhere to drink. How about, are people tired when they come over here? Do we wanna put in, oh, they're very tired. So let's put in a coffee shop and we're gonna pop the coffee shop, cat coffee. I guess I could actually put it like behind the tree. That might be kind of fun and have people walk behind the tree and they can get themselves a little coffee. Then I could either move or remove the cola thing or I could just put it like over here. <laughs> Because everyone is already lined up over here like waiting to go to the bathroom But I'm kind of hoping I can put like the world's tiniest habitat right in that corner uh, And actually I could probably put a big habitat behind the tree that people could walk past Ooh, That's a good point Okay, I'll actually put the cat coffee over here then and we'll cover it up with some trees and decorations and I'll put like another decorative piece in the back corner. All right, we'll put cat coffee over here. <gasps> Level 27, oh my gosh, everybody who's coming to work for us is really motivated. And I hope that's because we have like a great healthcare plan or something going on that will make it really nice for people to be here. Let's see, and we have the dandy lamps. I'm just gonna put a couple of those down at random places. And I really hope our janitor is able to come and just like clean this place up pretty soon because it's a bit of a mess But we've got to be patient. We just hired her All right, and then we can start decorating around the gorillas soon Yes, and I know we can actually trade the panthers, but I've been trying to just like work one piece at a time Here while we're over here. Let's go ahead and hide behind a whole bunch of beautiful beautiful trees and bushes and everything leafy and green and wonderful the fact that I just kind of like shoved in a bunch of the cola things. There we go. No need to ask questions, friends. Moving on. And I think we'll actually come over and put a lake over here. Because the lakes have a ridiculous amount. Whoops. The lakes have a ridiculous amount of attraction for their decorative effect. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay, now nobody can sit on that snake. All right, we'll do this and this. Um, in fact, I might flip this snake if no one can sit on it and make it go like so. Yeah, we'll do that. And then on either side of the shell shack, I'm actually going to put this little water path because people freak out with how happy they are about the decorations that go into water. And now that we have researched most of the research things, I feel like we can start spending our research points on uh, like the lake packs for water rocks or the, like we've already unlocked the mangrove lake pack, but there was uh -huh, over here, the fountain lake pack. Boom, now we can, oh, ooh, the fancy fountains. I wanna do fancy fountains. Yay! All right, well, we unlocked both of those things. Uh, I guess we could go ahead and unlock, like, some seeds next. We still have animal hedges. I have a feeling we're going to unlock everything sooner than later, and I'm going to be a little sad, but maybe there will be future updates with lots and lots of cool new things that I can continue to add in. All right, well, look at that. You have, like, elegant spring. <gasps> a little pot that's just got, like, a little fountain in it. Oh, my gosh, why is it so cute? I love it. I love it, that's what I want. And then you have like grassy rocks and big grassy rocks. Oh, and look at the bamboo decor. Oh, and the little splashing spots and water jets. This is what I wanted. Ooh, and look at all the other stuff we still have to unlock, sweet. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you can get a lot of really cool stuff 
with the updates. So I'm hoping we'll have even more fantastic updates in the future. All right, let's put in a few reeds. Maybe a lotus flower or two here and there. Magnificent. That, that looks a lot better than what we had this morning, doesn't it? And it's tidied up. You know what? Good job, Gladys. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to actually give Gladys, like, a bonus. Because she cleaned that up. Boom. She's super duper polite and happy. Going to clean everything up and tell everybody all about our wonderful gorillas. And speaking about our gorillas. Oh, and let's grab that antelope over here. Please be a female that I can go ahead and actually, like, crossbreed or, like, put in the nursery. All right. Come on, antelope. Be the antelope mix that I am dreaming of, please. Let's see. Also, I think this exhibit is getting too big for one keeper to take care of. So we should probably go ahead and hire another keeper soon. There's four pairs of these antelope now. Yes. Okay. We definitely should have better luck with getting our boom. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to send back the ostriches. And can I get the final group of antelope in here? Confirm. Okay, already pregnant. All right, so we've got two sets of antelope now in the breeding center. So fingers crossed, we'll actually make some progress with that now. Uh, and while we're thinking about our gorillas and our orangutans, let's keep it moving. We're doing good, guys. There's a lot always happening with our zoo. City, it's really legitimately like a city now. We have more money than I think most small and medium-sized cities do. <laughs> Millions of dollars are going through. Let's come in and we're going to feed our orangutans something good. We're going to take good, good, good care of them. There's 30%. And then let's add some insects for them. How many? It looks like another 30%. And then tree mark. Let's try 30% on that. And then... There we go. So they should be taken care of. And then let's come over. I can't believe we're just feeding the gorillas straw. That is not the way to do things. All right, we'll try 30 and then termites. I hear gorillas actually eat like a lot more termites than you would think. So it looks like they actually enjoy a lot of termites. And then we'll feed them a bunch of bamboo and take out that hay. Boom, now they are finally taken care of. We'll buy more food for everybody and Yay! All right, so that takes care of our wonderful gorillas and it takes care of our orangutans, so they should have the space they need. How are things going? We're still working on getting that fifth pea fowl, so it's good to know that that is still progressing. Um, and I guess for the crisper splicer, I feel pretty confident that we're actually going to be able to go ahead and get ourselves the baby antelope we're looking for. So why don't we go ahead and spend a little bit of our time actually preparing for one of the other animals that we can trade on the world map for. Like for instance, the skunks! We can actually go ahead and trade one of our penguins for some skunks. So I'm thinking that, that will be one of our next goals. I'm just gonna check this. Looks like we're good on all those animals. And when I was trying to think about where we would put the skunks, I think we're just gonna expand the forest over here. And we're just gonna keep kind of building the forest out towards the west. And that'll be fun. We'll have a little mountain here and the mountain range might go up to the north and then I'll make the forest and the wolves and all of those kinds of more temperate wild animals stay over towards the west as well. Uh, so this is going to be where we'll start with the skunks because come on, we have <laughs> the incinerator for the animals with 81 animals. What the ever loving heck? <laughs> but the incinerator is actually located here. So it makes sense to have the skunks next to the incinerator, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I think that is actually kind of big brained. So let's put this in. And I think this is actually like our bear pen. Is the bear pen big enough? We can actually expand the bear pen really quickly and put in a specialized type of bear back here, I think. And I think I'll try to leave enough room for like a restroom right here. And then should I have a path that lets people come down from the wolf area? Maybe. Maybe, 
but I feel like forcing them into the subway is kind of helpful. But now is the time. If I was ever going to change my mind and let people like come down from up there, now is the time to do it. So let me think. Then they would come over to balloon spot. I would need to move the cliffs in some way because of all the enclosures on the inside. All right, I need to move these cliffs real quick. Whoops, no, 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 no. Uh, I wish it was easier just to like click on one of the objects. All right, so I'm gonna move the cliffs. Oh, I'm sorry, bears. <laughs> they were actually hanging out in the cliffs when I did that. I'm sorry, guys. I was just thinking if I come over and I make it, so one, two, three, four. So there can be a bathroom right here. Uh, I'm gonna need to move some things. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then if I go straight up and do this, I think I can make a path right there that people can walk down. I don't know if that's a good idea for my poor bears. I don't know if that's a good idea for my guest, but we're gonna try it. And we're just gonna see if moving our skunks down here is kind of like a good game plan or not um let's put in oh we could do the little old west thing <gasps> that'd be kind of cute and maybe i'll have like a little old west style hangout for people who come over here i can hear the bears growling that's really cool and then i kind of like the idea that maybe i can make this into a secret path and if people want to come down here they can Go away, robot man! All right, I don't need robot animals. I have my wonderful real animals, and that's all we need. In fact, I have too many of them. I'm trying to take good care of them, but it's very hard. You pick a project for the day, and you focus on that project in Planet Zoo, or you're doomed. Like, that's, that's just the way it is. All right, gotta put all this grass down one day. They're gonna have a new tool so you don't have to put it down one by one, but that day is not today. All right, and I think making the spot for the skunks to go is going to be kind of the bulk of today's project. And I'm still trying to decide if I want the swans, if I want like all of this connected up. I'm, I'm hoping I didn't make a huge mess by making it so people can walk up to our wolf area or out from our wolf area now. Sometimes it seems better to contain people by force, but I kind of just like having a little secret path that just kind of comes back from up here and it guides people down here. And maybe I'll even put in like some cotton candy and things so you can pick up your secret cotton candy past the balloon shop on your way past the bears. Because I think that could be kind of cool. Also the bears, we'll go ahead and swap the bears out at some point to focus on a specific type of bear. All right, let's see. And then I'm gonna put over here the skunk exhibit, or habitat, I should say. And then let's put in a subway. Maybe like that Old West subway again. The sub loon, oh my gosh, yeah, the sub loon to go ahead and match with everything. Then that's gonna be so that my keeper can just pop straight out and get right to the sub loon. I'm telling you what, uh, I wonder what kind of path I should put down for this area if we're gonna have like the sub loon. Hmm, ashwood planks? No, I feel like the wood deco. If I'm gonna transform this area, I might block this off right here. That sounds like a good idea. I'll block this spot off with like a um, a wagon. And then we're just gonna have this kind of be our little Wild West hidden area that you can also get to the wolves at. And then I'll probably go ahead and just have my geese block this section off <laughs> and finally expand their poor pen. Here, we'll do that before the end of the day too. Opie, guess what? You're gonna get your pen expanded. It's been way too long. Oh, and we can finally give our geese the like swan-esque lake. I have always wanted for them to have. Oh, I'm so happy for them. All right, put that there. Boom, now they have got a bigger spot and we can go ahead and give them a little lake. This, this is a masterpiece. This is what my poor swans have deserved all along and they finally have. 
I don't know if I'm actually gonna give them the elegant springs, but we can definitely give them some like grassy rocks and maybe a couple. Oh, look at those beautiful grassy rocks. Oh my gosh. And then maybe a couple of really cool little like cannon splashes. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love those. I'm just gonna imagine those are my geese like having a grand old time, just jumping up and down in the water. I could even put a couple barrels in here because the geese don't care. They just go past the barrels. There you go. What a good goose. That's fantastic. And then we can go ahead and sort out the geese so that we have just like one variant of them uh, in there in the future. But all right, now that that is done, let's block this off with a proper decorative piece because I'm totally into this vibe of, oh, we can do the little water tower right here. I haven't put the water tower anywhere yet. And we can even move like a little, there we go. We'll put the bench right there too. Bench is now blocking it off. Y'all gotta turn around and walk back to the nearest there, boom. We haven't had the water tower down for anything yet. So that is perfect. And I can even put a little gas lamp here. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. We're gonna have so much fun. It looks like people are really tired. So, oh, maybe because the sub loon kind of is a little sub -loon. I'm gonna just go ahead and let's see, more wooden benches. Maybe I'm, I'm just gonna turn this into like a little waiting spot. If people wanna just sit and rest for a hot minute and maybe, let's see, can I put a little sign over here somewhere? Menu sign, maybe a little arrow sign. There you go. You want ye oldie notices? There you go, friends. And then a little notice sign. Hmm, I'm just gonna put that there. All right, and we'll play with that, but I like that twist. We're starting our own little Wild West area and already people are making a mess. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're so messy. And now I need to open up like more park bins, uh, like more designs of them. Oh, look at the little animal bins, yes. I've had that on my list of things to unlock for a long freaking time. So let's actually check out the animal bins. Na 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 na, na na bear bin. How cute is that little bear bin? It's adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. Yay, okay, so we've got a little bear bin. And then I'm gonna put a, uh, maybe like a small tree, a tall tree, some sort of, there, we'll just put a pine tree, because why not? Um, and if everybody is just gonna walk right on through my bench area, I'm gonna go ahead and put down a couple more pieces of planking. <laughs> oh my gosh, and then they can walk past here, and then I think we'll have some logs come up along the bare area. So people can come and look at our bears. This is fun. This is cute and fun and I like where things are going. So let's make sure we peek in on our current project before the end of the day. We're gonna come over and we're gonna check on the pregnancy. <gasps> yes, it is the new one. Oops, 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 oops. We have it, you guys. We actually have the new antelope. It looks like a little deer. It's so cute. Boom. Okay, so as soon as that little antelope comes on in, we'll try to just say that they're gonna have a good time. We're gonna pop it right out of the breeding center. We're gonna trade it and we're gonna have crocodiles, which means I need to start preparing for crocodilians, which means we're going to spend $700,000 buying this plot of land. Yeah, that, we did that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think the crocodiles go in tropical. We'll have to like, I, I, I could test it out by like gingerly putting it down and we'll have to wait and see. And I want to expand the section for the, um, whoops, never mind. I want to expand the section for the orangutan as well while we're at it. Phew! All right, guys. Well, that was pretty exciting. And we managed to get the new antelope and build a new area and take care of like some of the chaos that is our current zoo city. It's really honestly a city zoo at this point. There's just so much happening. <gasps> And we have an albino pea fowl. It's so pretty. I want to give it some sort of gorgeous Arctic habitat. Like that's so gorgeous, you guys. Maybe we can make some like feathered 
penguins with big feathers like that. I mean, penguins already have feathers, but big feathers, big feathers. All right, we're doing it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our freed goose. They finally have the splashing zone of their dreams. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.